Hello internet vapors. So I thought I'd do a quick video on one of the ingredients I use in some of my fluids. Now this is an ingredient called WS23. Now WS23 is an additive for fluids that gives a cooling effect to your vape. So when you do the inhale and the exhale it adds a cooling of almost like an ice like undertone or flavour to your fluid basically chills your entire mouth that's what it does now the WS23 doesn't actually have any odour so it doesn't smell of anything and in terms of flavour it doesn't have any real noticeable flavour either now there's quite a few things with the WS23 so I'm going to go through all of it so the first thing we're going to look at is the WS23 now I've done a bit of research about this particular ingredient before I even bought the ingredient because I didn't know exactly what it was and it turns out the WS actually stands for Wilkinson Sword and Yes, that is the same company that makes the razors, the shaving cream, uh, all the shaving stuff. It's the same company. Now, from what I have found, they created this cooling agent to go in their shaving foams and creams, to give their shaving foam and creams a cooling sensation when you put them on the face. Now, apparently, from what I've read, they actually made 1,200 different versions of this cooling agent. Out of that 1,200, only 8 of them actually made it to market. Or are actually used in products. The other 1,192 of them, I've no idea what happened to them. Can't find anything about them anywhere. But 3 of them... Or three of their eight that made it to market are actually finding their home in vape juice. So we have WS3, WS5 and finally WS23. Now the 23 is the most common one what you might find in vape juice these days. So if your vape juice has a cooling or an ice effect more than likely it's going to be WS23. It might also be WS5 which is another one used but that one is less common and the WS3 is even less common than that. So with this WS23 what I've got here you can actually see I've repackaged this myself. So it did come in an original clear plastic bottle it came in just an, as, as an example it came in a bottle like this and I've repackaged it into this brown glass bottle purely for my own thing because I found with a plastic bottle like this it can actually degrade a little bit faster than what you would like now in a brown glass bottle you're protecting it from light and you're also keeping it well, it's a glass, a sealed glass bottle, so it's going to last a lot longer in this bottle. From what I found from personal experience anyway, the shelf life of your WS23 fluid will last longer in a brown glass bottle instead of a plastic one that's clear. So I'd recommend repackaging it if you do end up getting some. Now another reason I've repackaged it as well well, it's not another reason, but I suppose it helps. I don't want to promote where to get this ingredient from. Purely because there are a couple of risks, possibly, with this fluid. I say possibly because we don't actually know. The knowledge is a little bit hit and miss with it. But there have been several studies done for it. So that's just why I'm not I'm not going to promote any brands 
or anywhere to buy this from. I don't want to because if you don't use it correctly, it can have some adverse effects. Now, it has been studied. Now, like I said, the knowledge does have quite a few gaps in it. So we're not 100% what happens when you actually vaporise this and inhale it. But there are some peer-reviewed scientific papers out there that have looked into this fluid. And what they have basically found is in very small amounts, so very, very small amounts, it can actually be safe to vape. Now that small amount would be a maximum of 2% of your final fluid. So for example, this one is a 50 mil fluid. So for 2%, you would add one milliliter of WS-23 as a maximum in this fluid. So if you're making 100 mils, it would be two milliliters maximum. That is the highest amount that you could safely use. Now, you can see on the bottle, I've got a bit of information which I've printed out on here. So I'll cover the 30% in a little bit, but I've even got it on here mixed at 0.5 to 2%. Now I have got a video up on my channel where I'm trying to resurrect um, some peppermint or spearmint flavoured fluids that have degraded using this. I've done one at 2%, a second one I've got 1% and a third one I've got 0 0.5. So three of the bottles of the same fluid each with different amounts of these in and I'm just in the process now of testing and vaping which one and narrowing down exactly how much to add to the remainder of that fluid to actually make it usable but I'm not exceeding that 2% mix because it can be a little bit risky to do so so in the several studies what I have read and in the several peer-reviewed papers vaporized WS-23 in higher amounts or higher than 2% when vaporized and inhaled can caused quite a few things now the first thing that jumps out at every single peer-reviewed paper i read is organ toxicity so it can make your own organs toxic that's the main thing that jumps out on every single study i've read about ws23 now there is a little bit of leeway so it's saying two percent or less is the safe amount the studies, I say, generally fall around that. Uh, I think the highest amount I've seen was 3.27% um, as the maximum before you start getting the oxy oxygen toxicity. So I wouldn't recommend going that high. Stick below the two. Now, another thing what it's shown to cause is something called clastinogenic properties now i will admit i'm not entirely sure what that is i've read up on class clastogenic properties um and to be honest i don't quite understand it myself it's something about causing mutations in your dna in a nutshell i could be wrong because i don't fully understand it i will link in the description though a few links to what that is i'll also link all my sources down in the description as well where i found all this information so you can go ahead and read it yourself and make up your own mind uh, before you actually buy and use this fluid it, i've also linked a wikipedia page down there uh, for the clastinogenic properties uh, hopefully you might understand it a bit better than i did i I'll be honest, a lot of it just went straight over my head when I was reading it. So I'm not sure. I'm not even going to go into it because I don't know or understand enough to advise on that. So in short, WS-23 can be risky to use. 
and you need to research and learn and study how to use it in your fluids correctly and more importantly safely in your fluids. You also need to read and study to make sure that you want to use this in your fluids. It might also be an idea to research any shop bought fluids you buy to see whether they contain WS23 and how much they contain. So generally they do contain less than the 2% but it might just be an idea just to research what fluid you're actually buying from the shop. So what exactly is WS23 though? So this is a additive as you can see here. Now the additive it starts out as a white crystal powder kind of thing. It kind of looks a little bit like sugar, like white sugar. And what they do for vaping is they take that white sugar or the white crystals and they mix 30% usually into a base of PG. So they usually mix it into PG at 30%. And then we would add 2% of that mix into our fluids. So it can sometimes, I've actually found it can sometimes fall out of solution. So I don't know if I'll be able to see it here because I have been shaking it around a little bit as I'm holding it. But sometimes it can actually fall out of solution. Which means if you were to pick it up and look at the bottom, you might see one or two things that just look like individual sugar, sugar grains just resting at the bottom. So you always need to make sure you shake it before you actually do use it. As for what it does to vape fluids, it adds a cooling effect to your fluid without adding any flavour or odour. So there are some reports on forums that it may add a very, very, very slight menthol kind of undertone. But generally it's just an ice feeling. It just chills your mouth. That is what it does. So this makes it perfect for making iced fruit flavours or to add a cooling kick to your fluids. Now it's actually widely used this WS23. So it's used in a lot of stuff that you use every day. Now I will just stress WS23 has been cleared as perfectly safe to consume. The only thing it's in debate on at the minute is having it vaporised and inhaled. So WS23 on its own in everyday products, perfectly safe, vaporised and inhaled is where there's a little bit of grey area. That's where the gaps in the knowledge are. But you can find it in toothpaste, it's in mouthwash, air fresheners, it can be in moisturising skin creams. So if you get, like I have eczema and WS23 is an ingredient in one of the moisturising creams that I've been prescribed by the doctor. So as I've already covered, it's already in shaving creams and shaving foams. It can be in shampoo, sunscreen, shower gel. There's a load of stuff that this goes into. As food wise, there's also a lot of food it goes into. So it can go into sweets. So little jelly sweets, candy sweets. It can go into sticks of rock or hard candies. It can go in dairy products like milkshakes and it can go in, excuse me, it can even go in chocolate. There's a couple of chocolate brands out there that contain WS23. You can also find it in beer, chewing gum and even a very, very popular, very big drink, a soda or a pop. I'm not going to name it. Because I don't want to, but my research has pointed out that there's one very, very popular drink sold all over the world that contains WS23. And it's 
people drink millions of litres of the stuff every day. It's what it's a massive drink. And that's got this in it. So in terms of what WS23 is, for your fluids, it can be a very good thing. So this is one of the fluids I'm adding it to. It's the Yeti, the Spearmint. And I've mixed this at 1%. So this is a 1% mix. I've not got through to actually tasting that yet. I will eventually though. I'm just trying to see where my other bottles of it are. But they've gone, they mixed in somewhere. But generally, you can use it. But my point is, research, study, read, learn, and find out everything you can about WS23 before you even buy it. So don't buy it, don't use it, until you have studied what this is. You've read some scientific papers. I'll link a few in the bottom, in the description, for you to read through. But until you've read a few papers and what the risks are with WS23, don't even buy it. Don't use it. Unless you've read it and you are happy... With what you've read and you are confident enough to go yeah i know what i'm doing it's like i know what i'm doing with it because i have studied i've read up this is how i can add it to my fluids because i know how to mix it safely but don't use it without the research but anyway guys that is it for today thank you for watching like the video comment your thoughts below have you used ws23 before let me know your experience in the comments. And of course, subscribe. And I will keep pumping out videos, hopefully. Okay, bye.